Hi everyone and welcome. This is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week of May 9th through May 15th. I am Tim and this is Angel Tarot Card Readings by Tim. Thank you for joining me this week. This week I am going to be using the Archangel Michael Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue and then I'm going to also pull another card from the uh, Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle Card Deck. Okay, and I wanted to use Archangel Michael because he was so prominent in last week's uh, reading that I just felt like he needed to come through again, and I wanted to get messages from his deck. So we should start to be, because they keep telling me that this week we should start to see some of the stress that we've been experiencing over the past week kind of dissipate, which is going to be nice. I can't wait for that. I'm also hearing, it, again, with relationships, that they're saying to have compassion. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shuffle while we do this here, because a lot of times he talks to me, and cards may fly out before I even know it. But I'm hearing compassion, and I'm also hearing surrender. So let go of the dysfunctional parts of any of your relationships. And again, this is everything, you know, job career, family, friends, any area that you feel like you've been trying to control and control and control and you're just spinning your wheels, it's time to take a step back, they're saying. You know, let it go, release from it, you know, all of the drama and the stress, time to let that go. And one way to do that is to just take a deep breath and just have a little bit more compassion for yourself and the other person. When we put ourselves in the other person's point of view and in their shoes, it kind of sheds another layer, is what, I, is what I hear. And this will give us the opportunity to reevaluate and to replan. So this is about um, letting go. And I'm also hearing, look for the signs. And I'm getting big pressure on my face when I'm saying that. So some of you are going to be getting quite a few signs this week. You might find feathers, you might find coins, and it would not surprise me because mediumship was up last week. Uh, departed loved ones communicating with you. A lot of times that's how my grandmother communicates with me is through coins, and I see dimes when she's around me. So Archangel Michael, what messages do you have for us for this week? What do you want us to know for uh, this upcoming week? And I'm not getting any signal to stop yet, so I'm going to continue to keep shuffling. And I do want to send out a late belated Mother's Day to all of you. I forgot to do that last week. So happy Mother's Day, all of you. Um, ladies, and I want you to just enjoy your month because it's not just Mother's Day. It should be Mother's Month. It's okay. I get mine, I get my month next month. All right, Michael. Let's talk. What do you want us to know for this week? Okay. Here we go. So this one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And again, you know, I'm going to pull the three. And I know that they're all going to be part of the whole week. Just sometimes when we pull cards, the first card is kind of the energy for the first part and the middle. But I'm really noticing that the cards that come through, this will be another layer, that the cards that come through kind of come in the order of how we experience things, but we're to combine them all. Here we go, and this will be our final card. So to get us started, now this says to go, far, to go forward fearlessly. And the prayer is thank you, for making and walking, sorry, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of, in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. And you know, I got to tell you, as I was reading this, I'm also, here, I'm also feeling Archangel Gabriel too. So for those of you, this card could very well mean career and uh, writing books, publishing, so anything that has to deal with getting something out to the public, getting your message across.
this is what this card is also saying too. But we've got the message to move forward. We may have, that's right, uh, that's Ethan in the background here. He agrees with that. But we're getting the message that, yes, it's okay to move forward. That we may be feeling like we may not have all of our ducks in a row, but we've got a lot more knowledge and a lot more skill than what we're giving ourselves credit for. I'm also hearing that um, this doesn't any, have to be anything that we have to rush into as well, okay? So this isn't like, you know, and they're off. This is just open up the gate and take that step, all right? Now, as we uh, get into the other part of all of this, this is, saying, this is saying to honor and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. And you know that express, the expressing the emotions with love is also part of that compassion and that surrendering. And this is... This is also, I'm hearing heart-to-heart -heart conversations with people, too. Um, we may have experienced the past, I'm hearing two weeks, for some of you, where it's like you've been spinning your wheels in relationships and trying to have communications, a, communi a communicative talk with another individual, and you're just kind of like spinning, because I keep seeing the wheels spin, spin, spin. It's kind of like I'm seeing wheels in the mud and you're just not getting anywhere. Now we have the ability to do that. And this is saying to, to honor and trust the feeling that you have and to, to listen to that. And the timing's right for that, too. If it feels right for you, go for it, okay? Uh, the last part here is focus upon divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. And boy, I know that that is so true for me. Um, that was partially why I was gone for a couple months. Not really the whole, it wasn't a whole health issue. It just kind of was feeling drained. But I am going through some type of, I, whoops, sorry about that. I am going through some type of, I just think it's allergies. It's just like, I just feel like my throat is completely closed off. So uh, I'm expecting that anyway, because I um, was weaning myself off of allergy shots. So, this is something my body's kind of adjusting to. But that's what this is saying here, too, is trust your feelings and move forward uh, fearlessly and focus upon divine and perfect health. Some of you, this might be a diet, exercise routine, and program that you're wanting to, to start and get moving and going. Because that's the, the moving forward fearlessly. But the honoring your true feelings is... Because I keep hearing, why are you procrastinating? You know, what's been holding you back? Why, why are you still stuck where you are? And this is, um, this is asking us to move forward and just take one little action step at a time, okay? So those are the messages for the week. Um, I'm also hearing that what we do this week is going to continue and get us through for the next couple of months, okay? So this is big action steps coming up for us. Hey, kiddo, what are you doing? He wants to know what I'm who I'm talking to. <laughs> All right, and I want to get an another message with the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle Card deck. So, Angels, Archangel Michael, what other message do you have for us? What do you want us to know? Okay. So this is in, I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is called Rhodazite. Now, you know, this deck here that I have, I'm not really familiar with a lot of the crystals because these are kind of not your basic everyday type of crystals. So I'm just getting acquainted with this deck. So I want to um, just kind of tune in before I, before I get the meaning of this card. I just want to kind of tune into it just to see what I'm getting from it. And then we're going to look the message up. I like to do that when I get a new deck. And those of you that are just starting out uh, learning about angel cards or tarot, it's probably one of the best ways that you can learn about how to read, okay? Is uh, one of the best pieces of advice that I ever got was uh, from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine when I took the course. 
and they were saying, you know, it's great to have the guidebook, but that's all it is. It's just a guidebook. The best way to grow your intuition is don't, don't pick up the card like I was about ready to do and go to the book and see what it says. Why don't you look at the card and see what you're getting from this? You know, so what I see here, this is a whole cluster of, it, this looks like crystals, okay, of these wonderful crystals, rhodazite, and they're all clustered together. So to me, this can mean communion, this can mean a gathering, uh, four and three, that's the number, so that's seven, so that's spiritual. So to me, the most likely, this is going to be a very spiritual crystal, and the cluster together is a spiritual communion and a gathering. This can also bring awareness and togetherness. Now let's see how right we were, okay? Sometimes I'm completely off, but this is how you can exercise and, and actually get to, get to know your cards a little bit better. Okay. So the card meaning here is mighty power. So I did feel like, you know, with this cluster and with this seven, that this was going to be something that was more spiritual oriented here. Um, this is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body. Okay, so we were talking about health. So this is asking us to, um, again, with what I'm hearing here, it says to, let's see, it cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes your body. So this crystal encourages the flow of energy to all your cells and spaces in between. Let's see. This says to check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. The ground around you, your workplace, your home, and it may need healing and stabilizing by, you know, planting suitable crystals in the earth, okay? So, but this is, this is a mighty power is the message of this. And, you know, to me, this is, again, a, this kind of goes with what I was feeling last week, which was watch your environment, okay? And the need for grounding. And that may be what we're going to be experiencing throughout this week as well. So, we will have to wait and see. Um, I'm anxious to see how this plays out because I've got a conference this week, so we'll see how all of this plays in, all right? So have a great week, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Again, um, like I, if you're new to my channel here, I have, I've switched websites. I'm still in the process of working on that, and it's going to take me probably several weeks, if not months, to get that up and running. But in the meantime, if you would like a reading from me, you can always feel free to send me an email, and I'll give you information on how to do that, okay? Have a blessed week, everyone, and as always, angel blessings. Bye now.